How's it going? Dave 2D here. You remember when I started my videos like that? Those were terrible. Okay, this is my personal setup of 2019. So the stuff that I use the most frequent uh, over the course of this year. And you've seen bits and pieces of this over the course of my videos. I just kind of compiled it into this compilation of things that I enjoyed the most of this year. I'm gonna start off with the laptop first. This is the silver white. It's mercury something. Mercury, silver, Razer Blade 15. And one of the reasons why I like this device so much is because of its design aesthetic. It's got that nice, clean look. And unlike the black one, this one doesn't show fingerprints. Like it's just a very clean design to it. And also it doesn't show nicks and scratches. Like you can just scrape this thing and even if it does scratch, it's just, you know, it still stays silver. So that's why I like this one instead of the black one. And it's got really good gaming performance, really good video editing performance. It's just a really good laptop overall. The one thing that I don't like about this thing, and I've talked about it many times in my videos, the right shift key, I don't know why Razer does this. It's like in this bizarre position that only affects me. And after using a device like this with this keyboard layout for over a year at this point, I still haven't gotten used to it. I still make mistakes when I hit this thing, like it's, it's my bane, but I like the laptop overall. Uh, I did a review recently on the 16 inch MacBook Pro and as much as I liked that device compared to the old one and how much they've improved the keyboard and the overall product, I still prefer the razor blade. I think it just comes down to the fact that I've gotten used to Windows 10 and I just like it more than I used to, as well as the price point. Like this is already a really expensive laptop at 24, 2,500 bucks like the configuration I want on the 16 inch MacBook Pro, it's almost $4,000. So I end up returning that thing, going with the razor blade. Okay, uh, I guess the phone, phone is next. The one that I use the most this year is the OnePlus 7 Pro. I absolutely love this phone. I've dropped it a half dozen times. It's cracked like crazy. So I put a D-brand scan on it, but this is a phone that felt fast on day one and still seven, eight months later, it still feels super fast. I've, I love the software. I love the hardware. I love the screen. It's just like, it's a banging phone. And this thing goes for 550 bucks right now. This is a really good value off of the, like the OnePlus store. If you're interested in a really good phone, this has my wholehearted recommendation. And the icon pack I'm running, it's called Flight. I've shown this a couple times in my videos. And the wallpaper is just like, a, it's a custom one. I'll link both of those things down below. So the other phone that I use a lot of this year is the iPhone SE. And I mean, this just happened to be the phone that I picked up for iMessage, but I've grown to really appreciate what this thing offers. It is so weird that this thing is as fast and as capable as it is considering how old it is, but I love the size. And even though it's just essentially an iMessage tool for me, I still appreciate what Apple offers in a phone that is of this age. Okay, so this, computer is used as a laptop like 90% of the time, but occasionally I plug it up to a monitor. And when I do, it's a monitor that I've shown before. It's the LG 38UC99. And it's just a widescreen display that I use for video editing. It's curved, it's clean, it's white. You can't go wrong with that thing. Now, when I have this connected to my monitor, I'll use an external keyboard. And the one that I'm using a lot of right now is this thing. So this is actually a modified version of the Keychron K2. You might've seen in other people's videos, it's this grayish looking keyboard that honestly looks very uninspiring. I spray painted that thing and made this and also swapped out the keycaps. It is a wireless mechanical keyboard that has a really long battery life. That's probably its big advantage over a lot of other wireless mechanical keyboards. This thing can easily last like two, three weeks of regular use. It's got a pretty big battery in here and it supports both Windows and Mac OS quite reliably over Bluetooth. So you can switch between those operating systems. If you have multiple systems, you wanna connect your keyboard between them. It's a really solid keyboard and it's only 80 bucks with really great reviews. For a wireless mechanical keyboard of this caliber, I think that price is very fair. The keycaps are expensive, I'll link them, but like, I think they're $180 if I'm not mistaken, but that's the keyboard that I've been running a lot over this year. The keyboard that I used earlier this year was the control keyboard. This is expensive. This is a $200 keyboard. It's a different caliber of mechanical keyboard. Like these have removable switches and you gotta be like a keyboard nut to purchase something like this. But I highly recommend the Keychron K2. Uh, the mouse that I used a lot, in the beginning of this year was the Logitech G Pro. Replaced it with this. This is the Razer Viper. This is probably gonna win awards for like best wireless gaming mouse of the year because this thing is so good. This thing exceeded expectations. Razer is not known for like light mice and their wireless mice are mediocre. This thing is, 
look at my review, look at anybody's review. This is a solid mess. So I highly recommend this if you are into gaming and even if you're not, like it's just super, super responsive mouse. Um, what's next? I guess we'll talk about accessories. My favorite charging cables are these guys from Chiffon or Chaffon. I never know how to pronounce them, but they're just, they're super reliable, super versatile, and they're inexpensive. They're like nine bucks and they have all the heads like lightning, USB-C, micro, it's got all the good stuff. Uh, the drive that I use for all of my stuff, like storing games, editing videos, are these SSD to go from Angel Bird, I believe. And I like them a lot more than the really popular Samsung T5 drives. Like the cables on the Angel Bird, they go right into the slot so they stay secure. They never really wiggle around and get loose. So they're just, they're solid drives. Like them a lot. Uh, the battery pack that I use a lot. So these are Anchors power core batteries. This is an older one and I like, okay, so this is what I've noticed about battery packs in general. Batteries in these kind of like portable battery banks tend to degrade relatively quickly if they're super cheap. And I've noticed that the Anker ones hold their charge way better than like half a dozen other brands that I've tried. I just, I like them, like they're not a sponsor or anything. And I like the white color, but it does not have USB-C. I've noticed that they don't make white colored USB-C batteries. They still use micro USB, which is a bummer, but I like the color and I like the reliability of these uh, anchor packs. I also still use these headphones. I've shown them a lot. These are the B&O H7s. They're so good. Like a lot of people prefer like Sony's, Bose. I'm all about the H7s. I'll link them below. They're older though, so I don't know if you can really get them anymore. The two non-tech items, I still have them. This is a, I have a ton of these books, but they're just stuff I write in, these blue books from Poppin. Yeah, Poppin. Uh, they're just like a notebook that I have for everything and a knife that I use for, I just have this in my bag. I just pulled it out again for this video, but I unbox stuff with it and I just use it for anything knifey. Okay, I think that wraps it up. That is the stuff that I've been using the most of over this year, 2019. And if there's any questions about any of this stuff, I will answer them to the best of my ability in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.